We cover something in class called the bond line formula. And it's a way to take organic compounds, that's something with carbon and hydrogen in it, okay, these are some pretty simple hydro hydrocarbon or organic compounds, and we write it in a really simple way. Because look at all the ink that I use there. I don't want to waste all that ink, so I need to save a little time. So what we do, see how this has four carbons in it? It's actually called butane. We draw it like a zigzag, like that. So this is this. What does that mean? That there's one, two, three, four carbons. Each vertice represents a carbon, okay? And all those hydrogens are at the vertices, but they're not drawn in. Well, you're wondering, how would I know how to do that? Well, you need to remember that every carbon has four bonds. Okay? Every carbon has four bonds. And if you don't see four bonds on a carbon, that means a hydrogen's there. Okay? If you know that information, you're set. So what does that mean? Well, take a look at this carbon right there. We know there's a carbon in there. I'll draw it out. We know there's a carbon here, 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 and here. At every kind of vertice or point. If you look, take a look at this carbon, see how there's two bonds right there? That means there's two, bo two bonds missing because it should have four. Well, the two bonds missing are two hydrogens. Well, for example, take a look at this carbon right there. It only has one bond. Again, it should have four. So that means there's four hydrogens missing. This is just a notation to make drawing organic compounds really simple. This carbon only has two bonds, so it's missing two hydrogens. And finally, this carbon has one bond, so it's missing three hydrogens. So we use this bond line formula just to make things simple. Again, the bond line formula for this four carbon chain is just that. You just draw a zigzag until you get four points. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. So I'm going to zigzag until I get six. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know that there's hydrogens here. They're assumed because every carbon has four bonds. And so the missing bonds on carbons are just hydrogens. Okay. And finally, this one has a carbon in the center. And then there's three carbons around it. How would I draw that? Well, just something like this. There's a three with a zigzag and one extra one on the bottom. Let's make sure this works. Remember, every carbon has four bonds. So this one, there should be an extra hydrogen there. Okay, because it should have a fourth bond. That's that hydrogen right there. If you take a look at this one, this carbon only has one bond. should have three more for a total of four. So it's missing three hydrogens that are assumed and not drawn in. That's that one right there. You could do the same for these two. These two each have three more carbons. So again, to redraw this molecule in bond line formation, just kind of looks like the letter Y. So make sure you're comfortable with this, and especially be able to count how many hydrogens should be there and be able to fill them in on the picture. We're going to use this as we go on throughout the quarter.